Good evening, Interweb. Today is January 10th, 2013. And just for you to do an update on my car. Ended up uh, hitting a deer not too long ago, and that's why it is uh, very minimalistic at this point. Basically what happened is uh, Ended up jumping across the highway from the opposite side of the road and ran in front of another car and I ended up hitting it. it just kind of caught its uh, caught its uh, backside as it was leaving the road. So kind of bent uh, bent up my fender here. Still working on getting it straight, but it's quite a bit better than it was. It. Uh, yeah, I kind of bent up the, the subframe a little bit too. There's a kink right down there. So that's supposed to be flat, but it's not. Kind of like that one. So I'm not sure if I might have to, uh, I don't know. Might have issues pulling it out, but um, I don't know. As long as I can get to connect to the piece that goes over the headlight I'll be happy so got those pieces on order too though and I figured while it's apart might as well put a turbo on it and I'm pretty much just gonna go with the stock um, 3b setup um, the only difference is gonna be that uh, this is a K26 unit instead of a K24, so it'll be a little bit more free-flowing, but it won't uh, won't fill the boost quite as quickly, so it's going to have a bit more top end, which probably won't matter much anyway, since I'm only going to be running about 10, well, yeah, probably about 7 or so PSI. I'm not uh, going crazy with the boost because... I uh, don't want to blow the money on a compression drop and head gasket just yet. Because they can get a stock one for about a quarter of the price. And at this point, I just really need to get it back together. Oh, which, so that's the other fun fact about uh, hitting a deer with a uh, engine with a car that has the uh, cam pulley way out in front. Is it actually... It actually sheared the cam pulley straight off the cam, so I got ended up with a couple uh, bent up valves. Just from what I could tell, it was just the ones on uh, cylinder one that were kind of screwed up. So I took it into the machine shop about a week ago. Unfortunately, I haven't heard back. It's kind of kind of getting a little bit old. I'll probably give them a call Friday to see what's up. And let's see. As far as the turbo goes, I've got just about everything I need, uh, which reminds me I wanted to give a, do a shout out to all the guys on, uh, we've got the four members on uh, Motor Geek for, uh, to say thanks, and uh, yeah, for all the guys that helped me out with parts and everything. Uh, would have been a pain in the ass for me to locate parts, if not for that forum. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I made it a lot easier for sure. Um, but yeah, as far as the turbo goes, I'm. I pretty much I have everything I need. You got my little special uh, ABY intake boot here. And uh, yeah, I got a I got a blow off valve and a oil feed line on order. From 034. Um, I ended up going with the forged, um, not forged, it's, uh, it's a 034 spec uh, recirculation valve. Um, and the only thing I'm trying to, that I have to work on now, um, as far as the figuring out the oil situation with the turbo, is putting a, a drain line into that extension on the oil pan 
which I don't think will be too hard. I'm just going to try and get some AN, uh, probably like a dash 10 AN line, to make something custom up. I've got the stock 3B drain line. I actually have two of them. Um, and the only problem is it goes, I guess it's supposed to go behind, bolt up behind the AC compressor, so unless I want to delete that, um, which I really don't at this point, I figure hose is a lot cheaper than messing with the whole AC system. Um, yeah, unless, yeah, yeah so probably end up having to build some kind of custom line. And as far as the oil filter housing, I have a one off of a uh, non-turboed five-cylinder. Um, it'll bolt right up. I just have to drill the, um, the extension or the feed line for the turbo uh, right here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the oil cooling unit at this point. I might just try and cap it off. Uh, mainly just trying to find you know, room under here to mount anything, or even a front. It's just kind of not a very large area to work with. So maybe it might make it just a little bit simpler, but who knows. Yeah, the fender... I'm probably going to be getting a new one. It uh, it got bent up pretty good. Not not horrible. I, it's just the uh, main part's just the staying ridge right here. Just trying to pop that out. Just haven't had much luck with it yet. Uh, but I did get a new hood. I'm switching up to the B4 style hood um, and headlight setup. I don't have a grill yet, but should be getting one in the near future. Here's the old hood. After Bambi's little uh, little makeover. And uh, oh yeah, new V4 uh, headlights. I'll be putting in. And the turn signals, which I'm just going to have to maybe switch them back to good old yellow style. For the time being, I'll we'll probably leave the hood black for now. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to mess with painting it. Which I was actually, I mean, so far I'm pretty, pretty happy. I got it from a auto parts warehouse. And, um, you know, it's, it's not bad. It's. The uh, major flaw is uh, got like a dent that it came with, and you, know, you can kind of see it there, just on the very edge, right above the headlights. So, unfortunately, kinda, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna stick with it, though won't make me feel as bad when I have to drill to put the hood pins in, uh, which is another thing I'm doing. I'm going to be switching over to uh, two hood pins in the front, uh, since I don't really don't want to mess with trying to rebuild the, um, the uh, latch system. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Apparently, when I hit Bambi, I managed to spin perfectly so that the head got, uh, just nailed my door handle here. I completely just took the plastic out and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I gotta replace that now. But, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out right now if the, uh, if the coupe doors will fit on the sedan bodies, I'm not sure if they will or not, but I don't know. Another thing to research.
fender liner. Yep. And I moved back square. It's getting there.